Hello everyone. Welcome to another lecture video. Uh, here we are going to discuss about the topic Indianism, redundancies and cliches, uh, which uh, grammatically sometimes we make wrong. What is Indianism? First, Indianism is nothing but um, Indian way of talking in English. There are different kind of uh, English. We know that we have American English, British English, and then Australian English, and also we have Indian English. And when we have Indian English, uh, sometimes uh, we tend to translate uh, Hindi into English or Tamil into in English, Kannadam into English. So automatically we end up making wrong statements. Sometimes when a foreigner speaks with us or when a na native speaker speaks with us, he ends up and wondering what it is. So that is called uh, Indianism. So how do we make a mistake when we talk in an Indian way? Due to lack of knowledge. In Indian language, redundancy means we emphasize the word. So uh, when we literally translate it, we end up making redundancies. Take for example, join together. So join is a word which means together so together together that is what we say uh, by you saying join together and then um uh, we have yeah we make redundancies and then we do cliches what is cliche this cliche is nothing but um old archaic proverbs or idioms which is not into use at all but maybe due to lack of awareness we are still using that when a foreigner speaks with us he ends up wondering what it is why she is or he is using it. so this is called uh, indianism okay the communication mistakes that we make due to indianism so let's go and check out uh, the most familiar ones that we we think sometimes we may end up thinking that this is wrong why she says this is uh sorry this is right why she says this is wrong that's a, that is how we are practiced to uh, make uh, mistakes without their, uh, even realizing it is a mistake okay let's go and check them out i live here only okay this is li a literal translation translation of um language so it is not i hear i'll hear this only never serves or add any meaning it is not informative here um it is just a uh, waste which is which comes at the end okay uh you can say i only live here i or i live i only live here or i live only here okay uh this is possible but not i live here only okay that's wrong and then i will revert back okay it is called redundancy it is indianism because there is no uh we, no foreigner use or sorry no native speaker use only at the end and uh, revert back when you say revert the meaning of revert is get back okay i will revert but when you say i'll revert back the literal meaning is i'll get back back it is redundancy it is unnecessary here so the correct usage must be i will revert okay and then i passed out from modern school the word passed out meaning lo loss of consciousness okay but to do, due to lack of knowledge we use i passed out from this school i am a passed out of that school but that's wrong you can say i did my schooling from modern school or I finished my schooling from modern school or I completed my schoolings in model school okay and then let's order for burgers there is no order for let's order burgers okay there is no for or any preposition after order next carry more extra food again it is a redundancy because extra meaning something more than necessary but when you say carry more extra food okay it is a redundancy the right way of using it saying it is um carry extra food with you okay and then 
they spent 5 lakhs for the wedding okay it is not 5 lakhs it is 5 lakh we don't say 100 500 500s and 5000s we don't say like that so it is only they spent 5 lakh for the wedding it is not 5 lakhs and then he is the most favorite actor here for favorite meaning preferred to all others comparing to comparingly to all others i prefer him that is the meaning but when you use most here it again uh, becomes repetitive so it is unnecessary here so the right way of saying is it is uh, he is my favorite actor and then she is very proudy there is no word called proudy she is very proud or she is arrogant that is the right way of saying it is indianism i have heard most of the people talking in when they talk in tamil they literally translate that she is a proudy girl okay it is not proudy she is proud or she is arrogant next i hear a pin drop silence okay so we, it is very normal to say uh, it there was pin drop silence when i entered into the exam hall but that's wrong way of saying you cannot hear a pin drop silence so you can use the phrase pin drop okay in this way take for example everyone was so stunned by the announcement you could have heard a pin drop or the funeral home was so quiet you could have heard a pin drop this is the way to use it or you can instead of saying pin drop the meaning for hearing a pin drop is absolute silence there was a there was an absolute silence in the hall that is the meaning so you can say an absolute silent per perfect silent or complete silence okay and then um feedbacks okay there is no feedbacks it is only feedback both in singular and plural it is always feedback and then i gave him my history exam okay it is not i gave my xt exam okay it is only i give xt uh, sorry i took my exam okay i'm going to take my exam on monday i'm going to take my exam on friday it's not you are giving the exam you are taking the exam and then the wrong way there is no cope up only cope with uh, many a times it is not many a time uh, either it is many a time or many times and then you need not to okay it is a very common phrase we don't even uh, understand that it, there is a mistake here but either you should use you need not worry about or you do not need to worry about it is not you need not to you need not to is a wrong usage discussing about it is not discussing about it is discussing because they are discuss whenever you have the phrase sorry word discussing it is not discussing about it is only discussing there is no called as but it is very familiar among all saying called as it is called as it is called called as like that but it is only always they called it funny okay that's it then um dispose of okay there is no dispose of only dispose of and it is very uh, common among us to say they are real sisters okay it is not real sisters either they are immediate sisters or siblings you can say uh, reka and rachel are immediate sisters or they are siblings okay dispose again next um cut it out okay so redundancies we are going to see redundancies cut it out it's only cut it because out meaning already you are cutting things join together merge together combine together they are all same meaning either you use together alone or use these words separately add up just add proximity close proximity proximity means a close space scrutiny means close examination okay it it's a you can also close close examination either you can use proximity or scrutiny okay each and every different kinds these are all redundancies so you we have to use carefully we have to use them carefully either you use each and every or uh, different or kinds okay so we should not uh, repeat words again and again that is uh, how uh, we make mistakes